So in this video, these are the five major tips I have for flat ground skateboarding. In the course of this video, I'll be doing some of my favorite flat ground tricks and discussing what tips I have for you. Let's talk about it and maybe you benefit. The five things that helped me is thinking about foot placement, thinking about the basics, thinking in groups or families, games of skate and music. Why are those gonna help you? When we're talking about foot placement, making sure your feet, you can adjust your feet all different ways is gonna help you. Just experimenting, experimenting, constantly feeling out new ways to put your feet for like a tray flip, maybe closer to the, the nose, the tail. One thing I will point out is the closer your feet together, the easier it is gonna to rotate the board. But in order to distribute your balance and keep yourself, your weight centered above the board, you're gonna need it more to be towards the middle. And then that way, you don't jump backwards and your board just... You don't want that to happen. I also think video games like Skate, Skate 1, 2, 3 helped me just think about what other ways I could put my foot on the board and how it, he flicks his board. It wasn't the most accurate, but it was very close. It was, it was good enough to get your imagination working. Starting with the basics helps build your confidence and also your comfort on the board so you feel more secure and less scared. Kick flips, heel flips, pop shove it's, fakey pop shove it's, maybe vario flips before you do tray flips. 180s, front side 180s are huge. Learn those early. Skateboarding is a gradual process and uh, it takes time to really get better. Let's get some more tricks. So another important thing to know is uh, thinking in groups or families. There's like the pop shove it family, the kick flip family. And what I mean by that is doing pop shove it's, doing 360 pop shove it's, big spins, front side big spins. And then you got kick flip family, backside kick flip, 360 flip, vario kick flip. It all just makes sense and everything just builds off of each other. Honing in on the, the family of tricks that you want to be better at or that you think that you're already decent at like doing pop shove it's try big spins doing kick flips try vario flips having that little edge of thinking what what's next what's next will help you that's tip number three it's a big one The fourth reason is games of skate. I think that's a huge learning curve because it's competitive. So when you're competitive, usually you care more. So you'll try harder, you'll commit more. So those are already positive things about learning flat ground and just getting things down. If you have a good friend of yours who has similar skill level, it's gonna be even better because you each have a unique trick bag and you're gonna be testing each other on things that you're not comfortable doing. Usually if you're skating alone, you just end up trying to be consistent with what you already have and you sometimes you're just lazy and you don't want to go out of your comfort zone and try new tricks because it just takes time it's a process but when you have a friend there and he's doing a front side big spin and and you're you're not into that trick maybe you'll try into grass maybe you'll just commit to it and you'll land it and you'll 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 recognize that you actually had it you you actually had a chance at this trick but you just being your worst critic you you just not giving yourself the chance until your friend versus you and you're actually being competitive against him. It's gonna bring out more of you and you're gonna try harder. You'll probably learn more tricks. So the game is skate, test your comfort zone, better efforts, it's competitive, and new tricks. Let's go get new tricks.
Okay, 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 okay. So this is my tip number five, and it's music. Listen to music. It increases your intensity of practice and your motivation. I think music's huge. I used to listen to it all the time. I, when I got this like iPod Nano for Christmas, I went out on my road and I would practice for hours. I had different types of music from LimeWire, Datpiff, iTunes, gift cards, and I would just boom, toss it on the iPod, put my earbuds in and it was done. I would like project myself into a different reality and practice, practice, practice because I had so much fun skateboarding and then also I had music to increase my motivation. It also increases your focus because you're sort of distracted and, and already having fun listening to music so you forget about all the hours you put into this one trick, for example. Also, 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 it builds on your imagination when you're skating and you're thinking, like at least the younger self, I was thinking about a contest or a crowd being super hyped I landed a trick. So it's rewarding when you're, bit, when you, when you're not landing, not landing, not landing your trick and then all of a sudden you land your trick, my, my, my imagination would project me to like a contest with a crowd of people who are just like cheering me on for landing a trick down like a seven stair. And I'm like, I just did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. So now you gotta do it more and more and more so that you have that trick locked in. That's the perspective that I took when I was a youngin. It actually made me super stoked. And lastly, because you have music in your ears, you're less likely to become bored. It prolongs your session because you have music in your ears, you're less likely to be bored in my opinion. Those are my five major tips. I did a bunch of flat ground tricks, just doing as many and all my favorite tricks. Those are my tips from my own experience and what I think will project you into a better skateboarder and more committed skateboarding, more progression. I hope you take those tips, benefit from them, and end up crushing it way harder than you ever did before. On that note, I'm out.